What's up, people? Punch here. So, the couple updates came out for Odyssey recently. The Update 7 and the Quality of Life, quote-unquote, came out as well. In short, is it a good idea to come back to Odyssey after seeing the four or five pages of shit Frontier tried to explain to people? No. Let me show you something. A couple of things, actually. The first thing is, is when you wanted to get out of your ship, you'd have the immersive walking down a ramp, not seeing anything, pitch black, but hearing your guy walk down a ramp out of your ship. I got this infinitely for about 10 minutes. So I don't know if that's a new quality of life they added, or if that's still a bug. I'm going to assume it's a bug, because that's always kind of been a thing. It just didn't take 25 million years until I had to press the uh, Alt F4 key to get out of there. So then, after restarting, try it again. And this time I got onto the outpost without it crashing or breaking or anything. And then the FPS starts dropping the more I start running away. Again, I don't remember FPS being so shit until you started doing more and more and more stuff to it. And I get that there is a peer-to-peer -peer system still in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Meaning that there is no such thing as servers. It's just based off your latency. Which again is why people combat log and still and they also don't play in open play. They're too busy playing private mode, doing exploration by taking pictures of space stuff so that they can put it on their wallpaper. You know how it is. That's why nobody plays Elite Dangerous barely. Unless it's like mining or something to do with a couple of friends instead of a co-op room. Anyway... After the second time freezing, I decided to give it a third shot and see how far it would go. It didn't take very long for it to, you know, freak out. So again, there is no reason to come back to Odyssey. There is no reason to give a shit. And when you see those big-ass, like, updates, and they say they have quality of life, or update 7, or they have, like, uh, like four or five pages of... A bunch of stuff with audio and UI, but it doesn't mean anything in game because it's still broken. Don't bother. Because looking down, even my FPS started dropping. So in short, Odyssey's still broken. People are still pissed off. I'm still upset. New World's going to be coming out in five days anyway. So uh, might as well let Frontier work on Jurassic World three or Jurassic World two, and uh, not give a fuck about Odyssey. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Punch. I'll see y'all later. Oh, nice, it froze again for the third time.